Turn 21. Nobody's in the water. Right into the event phase. Uh, hey, lost boat teams catch up. Add a step to a one-step infantry unit again. Hot damn. Okay. Uh, let me pause and think. I'm going to go back to the bird's beak again because, you know, it's the only way of, of really reinforcing these guys over here. So even though I'm really tempted to give it to one of these guys, but <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Okay. Why do I just feel like I feel like I know that it's going to be blue? It's not blue. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh crap! They're going to they're going to fire artillery at us though. That's okay. It should. Oh, it's going to hit one of these guys. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Huh. Okay. Okay. I like games where I have a lot of room to learn. Um, what I'm realizing is. I think I had these guys here. I could have moved them in here. I could have gotten them uh, off the beach, and that's what you got to remember to do. Get your guys off the beach. They're susceptible to artillery fire. <sighs> okay. Lesson learned for next time. Double purple, and they're, they're shooting stars. Uh, so double purple, but we're not in the purple. No. So he does nothing, and we don't have to worry about any special actions. My favorite, favorite kind is no special actions. Okay, brown, bunch of brown, da 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 da. We get away with with purple, not really. I, I just shuffled, by the way. So the whole new deck, anything could come out. Um, all right, double green is going to do the A action. Ew. What do empty A's do? Empty A coastals for green do nothing. Empty A inland will ambush if within two. And I did a good job of making sure it didn't happen. All right, so you're not double light green. Yeah, you're single. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a double right here. These guys are, okay, double green. Coastal, oh, they're going to fire artillery. Oh, those evil bastards. Ah. Oh. And i got to look up. Do they, do they hit the, the target symbol? Yeah, the symbol on the step. So it's going to be this guy. Ha. We're going to get hit by artillery a couple times. All right, in the grand scheme of things, it could have been a lot worse. I will not complain. Double green just fired artillery at us. That's a single green. Uh, you're brown, and you're a single green. And empty greens will ambush if... Uh, oh, man, I always got to double check this stuff. No, it's just... It's just they will hit a U.S. unit with the target symbol in the position's field of fire if they're empty. Um, we're not in their field of fire, so he's no threat to us this turn. Okay. All right, and now Brown. Ah, yeah, these guys are going to get hit, and these guys are going to get hit. Just one of them. Um, all right, let me slow down here. Uh, you're red, you're purple, you're brown, and you're doing an R action, which is redeploy. You want to get closer to the closest unit, which would be these guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Either one, he's going to move up here and just make more of a red mess. Um, yeah, just move and then... Fire. Ah, crap. Crap. Oh, thank God, they're looking for circles. So he comes up here, and what I learned uh, is that he steps into this group, and then the whole group 
activates. So three shots, well, four shots, three plus the one extra, would come out of it at this point, and they fire into this hex, but believe it or not, we, they don't hit us because we're, we're diamonds. Now, again, I forget who which leader's with who, but I have it written down, so. All right. Um, so that was that R, and it's, it's... So here's another one. Single brown R. Inland. Nobody in his field of fire. Wants to redeploy and fire. So who's the closest unit? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So... He wants to get, so he's going to go one, two, three, because that's closer to these guys, and he's going to shoot. Oh, ain't that nasty. And he's going to kill D, but Crow is with M, so D dies. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I had these guys here, not in the purple. Well, they're going to die. They're going to die on this brown activation anyway. So he comes up here. One, two, three. These guys are in here. Doesn't shoot them. Then this guy fires, and he does see the circle, and he does shoot D and eliminate them. But uh, this inspired unit is still here. Uh, he gets another shot, and he shoots here, but there's a triangle. <clears throat> Oh, wait a minute. Uh, he's a coastal R. He's going to actually resupply. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm hmm. Okay, he's going to resupply and do the fire. Um, here's another single R. Wants to redeploy. Uh, and he wants to go to the nearest one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But there's really nowhere for him to go because he can't move three and get somewhere closer. So he's going to hold position. This guy's an inland. He's going to uh, resupply and hit both of these guys, and they're they're both going to become disrupted. I, you know, what are you going to do? I knew that was a, a, a probability. Um, they survived the first shot, so we got one of the two off before getting hit. So <clears throat> each of these can be hit once by this, even though they can fire now three times. Uh, the third shot is wasted. These guys fire. God bless these guys. Oh, no, they're not in brown. Never mind. Um, but I guess they all resupply, don't they? Oh, let me just double check I'm doing this right. No. Ha <laughs> ha! I was not doing that right. Um, they want to redeploy. They would resupply if they had someone in their field of fire. They don't have anyone in their field of fire, which really makes this dangerous. I'm really going to have to, I think, get guys lined up and then charge them all at once. Woo! Um, so, uh, they... The... Blah. The rule is they want to get closer, and the closest unit is this guy. Well, I guess the closest guy to this guy would be him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So all of these guys want to get closer to him, and they can't. This guy wants to get closer to him. One, two, three, four, and he can't. So I don't think there's any point to him moving into here. I think, I think he's going to stay here because that's closer to him. And these guys are going to stay here because it's obviously there's nowhere closer to go to get to him. Uh, I hope that's right. All right, and then there is one guy up in the corner. Coastal R 
it's later than turn 11, so now he wants to start moving. The, the nearest guy would be him, so I think he wants to go one. And that takes them down to five artillery. He wants to get out of there. One. And then speaking of artillery, uh, oh, ah, crap. I took them down to, f just took them down to five, which is what they need. Let me, let me double yeah, check. Yeah, they have five, which means this guy is the next biggest guy on the beach. So he gets hit. Okay. Yuck. Man, even on a relatively mild turn, they still hit you hard. Second event, place a hero marker on any U.S. unit. All right, well, let me pause and think who should get a free action here. I'm going to put it on the heavy weapons unit, the D-18. Tempted to, you know, help these guys out, but uh, I don't know that uh, there's a, a good unit to put it on since these units are are so worn down already and, and these two guys already have heroes on them. All right, US and HQ and engineer phase. We're still getting six support markers. I don't think we're gonna put any garrisons down. This is a turn for doing stuff. Um, first of all, I'm gonna remove the disruption off both of these. That's, that's two of them right there anyway, so. Um, and I'm keeping the other four back as actions. Alright, let me set up here. Oh, well, boom. So they're both in the four range, which is sweet. Okay, uh, of course, I am going to put down two. Uh, these two. That needs to happen. So, boom, we've secured one in C. That's all we need. So we don't care about this guy over here. We don't care about these guys. We have one in C secured. We've got B, hopefully we can get the top of B here, and then here, and up to here. Uh, and by the way, Japanese disruption, nothing came off because all they have is this yellow over here. Still leaves us with two support markers and three regular actions. All right, let's go over here first because this is pretty obvious. Um, free action to this stack to attack them. Uh, we've got six to their, they're doubled, so six to four, but if the greater not double, but you have the weapons, they're defeated. I am going to have to get some tweezers. I'm having a hard time picking these up. All right, defeated. Goodbye. Never to return this game. So that was that guy. Um, turn 21. Do we sit? Do we, do we push? It occurs to me that this tank is in red and could take a shot at... Uh, at these guys. He could target either Hex because he's in red He's in red field of fire. It would be slightly easier to hit this one, slightly greater odds, so we could do that. So I'm, I'm gonna hold that thought. Uh, if he's able to disrupt them, then maybe, maybe we move there. But before I spend an action to do so, I wanna see if I have bigger priorities over here's abouts. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound, so I think we're gonna Go for the gusto and hope that a brown doesn't come out next turn. Be pretty devastating if it does. But this guy's going to go one, two, three. And by virtue of stepping in there, destroy the artillery. And this guy, I think, is going to go one, two, three. And that way, they're flanking. Uh, so that took uh, one of our actions to do that. Okay. Um, 
I'm not gonna do anything stupid with these guys. They're probably all just gonna hold position. I'd like to get this taken care of first. Um, I mean, I could one, two, three, move these guys up there if I thought it would help. Um, but if they activate, they get three shots. And if I put someone here, then they hit. If, if I don't move anyone else up here, then that third shot is wasted that each one of these guys will get hit once. But if I move another stack here, they'll get hit. Uh, although, who knows, we might need the artillery, but we'll wait to see if that's the case. So I think these guys are just going to hold position. Okay. I've got these two guys out over here that I'm, I'm well aware I would like to you know, start using, but uh, let's see what we got over here. I'm just going to have him shoot um, because, and I know they're going to become disrupted, but it'll reveal them, so, all right. <clears throat> okay, do you have the weapons? No, and the attack strength is equal, two to two. Uh, we are disrupted. Big surprise. But at least I know what's in there. Okay. I think this guy is going to take another pot shot on him. We got the blue. Excellent. So, make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, it's much better to get the color than the symbol. So, we disrupted them. Ooh. Okay, and now we move. Let me pause and see who was gonna move. Okay, away. I've just been moving guys around. I think these guys are just gonna move in here, get off the beach and make sure those are occupied. Um, I'm trying to be cognizant of the rule that if you have a hex with five or more steps, it's considered intense. So I don't necessarily want to move this guy in with one of these two units because then that will be considered intense instead of just steady. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I, if I missed that earlier in some turn, but I'm aware of it now. So uh, these guys are going to go here. Um, these guys are here, which is actually, oh, geez. Uh, I just got to guess. Um, I mean, I want to get. I want them to to attack this. So I put them here, which could be if Brown activates, I'm in trouble. It could be here, which means if uh, if uh, here if Green activates, I'm in trouble. Here, if Brown activates, I'm in trouble. Um, all right. You know what I'm going to do then? I am going to put this here, making this intense. So that, let's say a, a brown comes up, instead of, uh, the priority would be this hex um, before this hex, because this is intense, but now they're both intense. And so I could choose to uh, have those guys take, or would that even do anything? They, they would get three shots, they would hit all three units, I don't think it even matters. Okay, sorry, I'm like kind of doing and redoing, so I apologize if this is confusing. So these guys started on the beach. They, they had been shot on the beach. These guys started here. I'm going to have them go one, two, three, up into here, which is intense of green and brown. Oof. All right, no, we're going to put them there. These two guys are going to go. If these guys go here and these guys go here, that that would be eligible for infiltration. Ugh. I do not want that to happen. So is there some way where I can use these things? 
I think uh, these guys, we moved into there. So I think I could do something like that. Oh, yuck. I don't know. I'm going to go back to this. These guys are just going to hold the position. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm going to stop here. Um, I'm going to stop here. All these guys, all these guys are done. Uh, why did I move him up here? Because I want a flank shot. In case they need to be flanked. That's why. Okay. Didn't do anything with these. Looks like I did these guys. I did these guys. I did these guys. Didn't do the bird's neck. Uh, or did I? I did this. Wasn't sure what else I was going to do. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to have this guy take a pot shot. The question is, is he going to go for the gusto? With a depth marker... Even as a four, <coughs> excuse me, uh, he would need both. He would need to get a red circle. If he goes for the other guy, um, if he goes for the other guy, I'm going to go for the gusto. Holy hell. I did not peek at that. That was total and utter luck. And I like it. <laughs> that was amazing. Holy hell. I went for the gusto. Because since he's got a depth marker, he needs to have both the position color and the symbol. Right? Position color, yes. Uh, barraging symbol, no. Oh, actually, if you get the color, you're okay. Why am I having trouble? Position color, yes. If I had not gotten the symbol, I was a four. Anyway, my point is, he's disrupted. Hot damn. Okay, if that's the case, then we're going to move these guys forward. And these guys as well. And then with the last support marker, I'm going to have this guy join him so that next turn we can just, as one action, move them together. I feel good about everything except this over here. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, a couple turns ago, I, I put this guy in a bad position. He got whittled down. I am putting him in a position now that if green shoots, he gets whittled down again. Is that really a smart decision? Whereas if I put him at least here, he at least has a chance of not getting whittled down. All right, fine. That's a little more conservative. These guys did their job. They came over, they revealed that. And now we've got to, uh, got to do something there. How sweet would it be if we don't get a, a brown and we're able to flank these guys? Uh, what do we have? Ten factors? And they're not doubled because they're just out in the open. They're in the middle of this airstrip. Oh, hot damn. Okay, that's, uh, that's turn 21. Let's go to 22, my lucky number.